Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Matthew Baku, also known as Maddie, broadcasting live from the Maddie Lair. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. This video was inspired by Coop772's um, Voices episodes. So, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Nerf and Strike Elite Strong Arm to the Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. Let's get over some similarities. Both are revolver style blasters. Um, both take both take pretty much uh, the same exact dodge. They're compatible with the dart um, with darts. Um, this can be compatible. This is com also compatible, I believe, with with other darts, like I believe, like Koosh darts and uh, and Air Warriors darts, I believe. And so is this one. Um, now the priming is a bit is a bit different. The hammer shot, given its name, you to prime and fire. You simply pull out the hammer and fire. The strong arm you pull out the slide and fire. Also, this one has slam fire. So let's go over the let's go over the um over the pro over the pro, um I believe I guess you'd say pros and cons. Um, now <clears throat> this is a really good pro is it has is it has options. You know um. Pro is, it, is it's very lightweight, um, so it's very good. But the and all and you know it's good that you can have the and another pro is that you have an option of both single fire and slam fire. Um, the only I believe the only drawback though is the fact that you still have to put your hand up here to prime and fire. So if you were potentially saying, oh, doing capture the flag, for instance, or something where you needed, needed, you know, uh, you, like, one hand free, um, this would not be an ideal blaster. Pros and cons of this one. Also, I forgot to also mention on this one also has one shot, has six shots, that's more than the, that's at least one more than the, uh, was, um, than the hammer shot. It's based on the fact that while well, you're reloading the hammer shot, you still have one more in here that you can use. Um, now, going over the pros and cons of this one. Pros is that um, it is it is ham hammer primed, so and that you can also do have one-handed action. Now, I guess suppose if you wanted to do it, you could go like all Western style and just like that if you want to do slam fire. I wouldn't recommend doing that just based on the fact that, um, being the fact that this has a very crisp and s a somewhat moderate, uh, hammer pull to it, um, it's, it might not be the best for, uh, trying to slam fire like Old West style. Um, kind of a, uh, a con though is if you have a, is if you're a little kid and have a smaller hand, you have to bring your hand all the way up to prime it, and for me, to just trying to do that was really uncomfortable. Um, but one con though is another con is that you only have five shots with this. Now, now let's see. Even though you only have five shots, unlike the strong arm, um, you can you can like put your primary down and draw this out, and you know just keep firing. You know with this one hand, and in like capture the flag for instance. You know like a game of capture the flag or. Like a game of humans versus zombies, where you're doing something and you need to have one hand free, or another hand is occupied. You know, you can just pull it out and just keep firing. So I think the fact that this is that you can do this all in one, a one hand operation system is good. So which one wins? The strong arm. I know that sounds weird, but um. Granted, the hammer shot does allow you. The hammer shot does allow you, you know, one-handed action. But for me, I like it. You know, I like it because it's got options. You got the single shot and then slam fire. In case you, so yeah, granted, you might have to put down your primary and use both hands for, uh, for the uh, what was it for slam fire? But in my mind, the fact that you have options, and also when you don't, and unlike this, I'm pretty sure you don't want to have, unless you can do that really fast, this one's your best bet.
and my mind options gives you an edge. Also, I mean, also, I mean, look at the handles here. This has got the End Strike logo, End Strike Elite. This has got some sort of weird bandaging looking stuff on it. In my mind, also, aesthetic wise, this one looks terrible. This one looks better. So, for me, just based on, also, it's also on a aesthetics too. You know, I want something that looks pretty cool. Something that can, uh, you know, something, let's say I wanted to change up the paint job or something, that I could just, you know, let's say if I wanted just a black handle, I can easily spray paint or whatever we do over that and all. This one, I don't want to have to worry about that, and there's also no way to remove that. You know, I mean, you have to paint right over it. So I think that, also aesthetic-wise, that looks absolutely terrible. So the winner is the strong arm. Yes, I know it's probably weird. Um, you know, I believe Coop772 said in his version in his versus video of strong arm versus a uh, hammer shot that he gave this one. The, he he said this one won this. On the fact that he can, uh, on the fact that it's one-handed action, well, that's true. My personal preference is the strong arm. I just based on the fact that this is a, like an updated version of the Maverick, and I really don't find very many Mavericks anyway, so this 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 one comes closer to none. Also, I mean, yes, it is a front loader, and yes, you do have to use both hands on it. That is a drawback, but. Sadly, I'd rather have something that has options for both single fire and slam fire in case you need to create, put a quick burst out on the playing field. So I think any blaster with slam fire is awesome, compared to just, you know, one-handed firing, and also this one has five shots. I've seen in other YouTube videos that, you know, this you can mod this thing, but I wouldn't want to mod this thing to have six, just have six shots. For me, that's just kind of too much work. You know, um... So for me, I want something that's just fast, ready to go, has that extra shot, you know? Because while you're reloading this, because while you're reloading this after five, I have one extra shot left. If somebody has this, I got one extra shot left in this, and while they're reloading that, I can just pull and fire. You know? Granted that, you know, this one is lighter. It is lighter than this one, don't get me wrong, but overall, in my mind, at least in my opinion, this is the best blaster out of the two. This has been, um, Voices, um, this, this is a huge shout out to Coop772, uh, 772, sorry, Coop772, um, Frank Cooper, I really love your videos, this is a huge shout out to you, um, everyone, you have a great day, I will be back tomorrow with another nerf video, no, uh, nerf video, you guys have a great day, peace out.